hear me? Yes, so basically we are trying to uh, demonstrate a transvaginal brain scan in a normal case. So normally we would have an empty bladder, so all my other patients will go and have an empty bladder now. And then of course the first thing you must do is check the survival length, okay? You check the survival length, then, then this is one very important task. Though. I know this is a fetal brain scan course, but then still may I just remind all of you that this is a perfect opportunity to measure the survival length, which must be done. And okay. So this is nice and normal. And then because of the fact that I don't have proper lithotomy here, so you'll have to bear with me. But I will want to try our best to show you something uh, before we see some other cases. So what I'm doing is, um, can I have this closer to me, even that? Because this is a two-person scan, and, and but then you know, I normally have my own team to press all the buttons. You see my left hand completely on the abdomen of the baby, of the patient, and then my right hand is holding the transducer. And now you can see the, uh, well, this baby is running away from me, but you can appreciate the sagittal plane freeze, 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 freeze. Basically, I don't have an extra hand, so, so this is a call for voice command, please, when I can have a freeze voice command. Then, and, um, so this is the, uh, obviously, this is the sagittal plane of the corpus callosum. You can appreciate the, the rostrum, the genu, you know, the interior. The, the mid body and then the isthmus and then the splenium all in one image and in, in this image you can obviously appreciate the firmness of the cerebellum. So what I do is when I, oh this baby has already moved out of this position. So in general my hand also has to go back onto the abdomen. You can see gentle movement. I can then get to this and in order to get the anterior coronal plane I need to get this baby to look at more and I'll aim towards the anterior fontanelle, which is over here. So the first thing you do when you put your transducer uh, in, in the right place, you need to work on the left and right, up and down, because the, the fetal brain isn't gonna be in the same position for every single pregnancy. So you basically aim for the anterior fontanelle, and then you pray that this baby is going to really help us. And I, I already have music on. I have baby music on. So let me try and find something fun. For this baby, we are playing minions. And then, uh, in general, if I have a naughty baby, Baby Shark is really, really good. Baby Shark would help me turn the baby a little bit, and then uh, now I just have to wait a bit. If this full bladder is in, in, really in the way, I would empty the bladder when, when, it's, when it's necessary. But, then, but don't forget, we also need to appreciate the whole brain, not just the interior section of the coronal view. So, okay, if this baby isn't gonna help me, then I go back to the posterior fossa and look at the posterior fossa. And then obviously what I find is looking in the, into the corpus callosum, this is already very helpful for the purpose of the cerebral. And then if this baby continues to look down, not to worry. I will go to the, oh, this baby is, I will go to the back. This is actually not too bad. This baby is trying to help me. But this, she, she needs to help me. So maybe, if, yes, if you can help me, so to help her, <laughs> that would be fantastic. So, so I'm, I'm in, do the interior portion, and then I go back. This is not the perfect plane, but that's okay. It will happen because we just have to give time. And I can sweep it posteriorly, and you can appreciate the cerebellum, yes. And you can also look at the fishes. Uh, I don't have hand for the two fishes, so I here. So I, I don't have hands for that. So you can see the, uh, the, the two fishes, very well developed. And then the, the, the parietal hospital fishes, uh, the, the calcrine, cingulate, as you do the, from, from the beginning, you know, the cingulate, and all that always will go to the back. And this plane also allows you to see the corpus transversely, yes, and also the CSP, and you can see the anterior on both sides, and at the same time you can look at the general matrix, the far line, and then if you are obsessed, you can also look at the optic nerves, and I can see the optic nerves already. The color, color, yes. You can, I guess, uh, go down, go down exactly. Uh, so you can appreciate the circle of awareness here, yes? And then, uh, freeze, 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 freeze. 
So I'm afraid I don't have an extra hand. Uh, so soon we will have voice command. And voice command will, will allow me to do all of that all by myself. Because I can, even my students cannot imagine what I want them to do. So face, 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 that's all. And then so, well, this is the place when you may want to think a little bit about looking at the optographs and looking at the optographs which is around here. And then the landmark must be the circle of Willis. But then I, I have to say, it's my first time using this brand new machine. We haven't optimized the documents. This is what, this is what, this is something extremely important. Before you embark on doing this service, you must optimize your preset. So right now, this baby is really naughty. Um, tell baby to move. Look up. Ask the baby to look up. And then make sure your, your mother, your father are with you and sing together. And, <laughs> and so, this, there you go. Can you see this move? Baby is helping me already much in a slightly better position. But, but, but because of the full bladder, this, this is, we need this baby to look up. Hey, baby. Even in my hands, it's not gonna just happen. <laughs> this is my music. <laughs> so I don't know, I hope you can't hear the music, but in my clinic, I will be playing all this music to get this baby to, to really cooperate. So I need to try my best because the other two, the other two pregnancies would not allow me to measure the SFA. So I must do the SFA in this baby. So bear with me, okay? And tell me when the time is getting near the 15 minutes. Are you okay? Thank you so much. Very, very nice patient. Yes, very nice patient. S smiling. <laughs> you cannot imagine. So, but this baby is moving around. So sometimes it's a matter of repeatedly doing the same thing. I will say, if you're calm, if you're not sure, go back to the sagittal plane of the sagittal, uh, well, the sagittal plane to look at the coxculosum. Then go anteriorly and hope for the best, and then rotate. The, the technique is very simple. Sagittal plane, coxculosum, go to anterior fontanelle. You pray this baby is gonna look up, yeah, and rotate, 3D ready, 3D, 3D ready. And this is a motor uh, you, you pray, and then while well, still baby is not precisely okay with getting there. No, 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 wait, 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 please cancel. Please, uh, we can try to do this, but let me try and see if I can get it better. You see it's a bit lopsided because she's 30 weeks. Please remember, this is a 30 week scan, so this, you will have more shadowing normal. If it's a 20 week scan, okay. Maybe, don't, don't, one second, one second. Ah, uh, this baby is, Listening to, uh, one second, go, go. Oh, the angle is too small. Same? Let's go back to the angle. Yes, okay. 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 So, this baby likes uh, Lime CA by some of our minions, okay? <laughs> Moved already, that's okay. So, if you're lost, not to worry, go back to the sagittal. Go anteriorly, rotate on this, ready to go, go. Wow, very active, baby. It's okay, this happens all the time. We'll keep trying. Can we say, and move on, and yes. And then let me see the quality, it's quite well. We will make it angle 100, angle 100, yes, exactly. So repeatedly, I'll go back to the sagittal plane, I'll go to the anterior fontanelle, can you see I'm on the tour front now? Then I rotate. And don't forget, this is a 30 week scan, so the image is already pretty good, given that there will be a lot of shadowing. Okay. But then the, the second, I think it's difficult to look at the second trimester scan. Okay. Now 3D, 3D ready. Let's try with this. Oh, this baby is very, very. Okay. Exit, 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 exit. So I'm afraid, I, uh, I get very, very, I sound very, very rude when I do the scan because I only give one word instruction because it's a very fast scan. Okay, 3D. Smaller. I want smaller. Can you smell smaller, smaller? And then, and you can, I don't know, can you see my hand completely holding onto this baby? Go, yes, go, 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 go. You, you focus on the machine. You don't look at anything else. Thank you. More or less. 
maybe we will succeed. Okay. <laughs> so now let's quickly look, can I have this looking down? Yes, can you see the beautification? This one. C plane, now we should rotate 90 degrees. Yes, 90 degrees. No, no, no. Go back, go back to all four. I want this looking down. 90 degrees, 180, 180, 180, 180. So rotate, so the technique, now I have this image. I go to plane C, make sure that uh, the midline is pointing directly down. So frontal lobe is pointing down, okay? Now, now we go to plane A, to make sure it's level. Make sure it's level, it looks more or less level. The, the 3D dot, can I go to plane B? Then I'll go into plane B to put the 3D dot to the tip, which is the telochloroidea. And making sure the maxilla is horizontal, more or less. Yes, so making sure, just final adjustment. Maybe a little bit more, okay. Because this is a 30 week scan, so we have to accept that. Can I show this one? Yes. So I can do better normally, but this is a quick assess, quick show of what we can do. This is uh, precisely where we need to be, the anterior coronal plane, whereby this is more or less balanced. You can see the uh, anterior bones, CSP. Oh my, well, I can't see the third one. You can probably just about see the uh, uh, optocasm. And then this is where we do the measurement of the signature angles. And this midline focus is good. And no hope was carefully appreciate the capital vision as well. Yes, and uh, then one image is quite informative. Now we can measure angle. Two lines, fantastic. So I don't know whether you can see the yellow lines on the screen. So I think the easiest is to anchor the yellow line, uh, anchor on the yellow lines. So this is horizontal. And then this is what I do. The second line is fix it at the uh, the edge of the upper portion, and then now I will yes make it brighter, fantastic, and then angle. I want to change it. Can I? Uh, can I? Yes, it broke. Yes, this is a uh, negative 43 degrees, and then I say yes. I want a second line. Okay. Ideally, this is normally done. Uh, by the way, this is normally done um, uh, post 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 hoc. I do it without pulling my probe in. <laughs> this is this is not necessary for a life scan, but because we do it, and we will do it now. And then now, second line, the second set of pressure, I anchor it here, and then I will bring it down to the energetic portion. Okay, and there's minus 45 degrees. Then we go safe. Excellent. Very good assistant. I know she's trying to learn. Uh, <laughs> what well, well, my student is learning for two years, so there you go. Okay, we can now come out. Any questions in relation to this part? Because the next two scans are going to be of abnormal cases, and therefore we will not be able to do this so easily. So, so yeah. essentially, uh, I, my limitation is I can't lower my probe any. I mean, so just remember, we will go to the mid, mid, midline, sagittal plane. You can see the copper scores. Uh, very easily when I, I, I can't move my tooth from probe anymore. Uh, this is this is recognition of the whole corpus callosum. And then uh, find the anterior fontanelle, yes, which is over here. And you can press a little bit, rotate on this. And I typically haven't done it already that the baby could behave, may I say. Always when I need to do it for the first time. And I can just about even see the object track as well. So this is a very uh, uh, quick way of running this through. And once you've done the uh, rotation and show the anterior coronal section, then don't forget, I'm not just here to measure the superficial angles. I need to do a full assessment. And when you when you do transgenomal scan, you need to remember, you need to correct yourself all the time because this baby isn't exactly where you want it to be. So, so you can see, if I were to just move the transducers forward anteriorly, I need to adjust and correct. And then, so I can see now is symmetrical. You need to appreciate the brain symmetrically. So that's why I can no longer accept doing a transabdominal scan. So all the way, making sure the skull bone all the way, and then uh, and you go posteriorly and appreciate the anatomy along the way. And then uh, when I do the sweep of the 3D body capture, it's also a very good time to appreciate to appreciate all the gyri 
and they're on this occasion, and you can obviously see the uh, verb is beautiful. Yes, this is, um, well, obviously, uh, this is a subjective approach. If you want to do an objective approach, then you must go back to this. You can do a smaller capture. And then uh, in my work now, we will zoom in, look at the corpuscular zone, make sure uh, we have it uh, magnified, and then now we do 3D. 3D. Yes. Uh, make it smaller. We will just capture this part. Thank you. No, no, no. The 3D. Because I want this. Because remember, we, I showed you earlier. So look at when you look at the corpus callosum. I wonder whether yes, we can have this more or less for corpus callosum. I can make it more. Okay, capture. So we, I think this is very nice, yes. We can appreciate the, the, the anatomy. And we can then go offline, we will do the division of the whole uh, corpus callosum into different segments, and then we could do the tracing. So I think uh, the genetics is obviously very important. And then, um, so this, this is uh, something we can say, yes, excellent. Any questions? I will finish and then I will move on to the next two cases. Uh, Leona, can yeah. you show us the soil angiography uh, in this mid-surgical section? The uh, pericarsal artery, can it be shown to us? I can't hear very well, I'm sorry. Uh, can you show to us the angiography in this mid-surgical section? The pericarsal artery? Pericarsal artery, yeah. okay. Yeah, pericarsal artery. Show with the 
Can we do it offline? Because I've got a patient who having a chance to almost get. It's not very nice. Can I, can I take, can I do this offline? Sorry, I'm sorry. I have a patient having chance to join us again. So I think let's do this offline, yes? If you have nothing I want, you want me to show that has to be done live, then, then I will finish the live scan here.